Pastor Barb. Pastor Barb. She's talking about um, how people in Minnesota are going to, to Cambodia for a trip. So now, let me change the topic to coming from Cambodia to Minnesota instead of going from Minnesota to Cambodia and how God really works through all of you and sometimes you don't even know it. I was born in a really um, poor family in the countryside and my dad was an alcoholic, so um, he, my family has a lot of violence going on since I was born. And then um, in Cambodia, we are Buddhist, and because of the combination of Buddhist and um, Hinduism, so some people who are living in like strange, you know, like fortune, fortune teller or um, like a lucky child and unlucky child and stuff like that. And in the case of my father, my birth father, he believed that I was not a lucky child to him. So he was trying different ways to um, avoid my mom to have me since I was, um, since my mom was pregnant. And so my mom made it through until I was born. Um, I don't know what happens before I was born, but when I was born, and I know what is right and what is wrong, probably like um, six, seven years old, when I start my first grade, my father got a chance to um, took me to the city and he abandoned me there um, without telling my mom. So now he got a chance to get rid of me from the family. And so I was in the city, Kampen City is the biggest, um, is the capital city in Cambodia. So I was there about three days and without food and crying for my mom. And this case is not happened with only me. You don't know how many kids out there have the same case or even similar with me. But this is just my personal story that I want to share. And after three days, my mom found me in the city. And then um, in 2000, Two, my dad passed away because he was um, an alcoholic person and he had an accident. So um, I have been living with my mom. I have four brothers and two sisters. So my mom, as a single mother, she's taking care of seven kids um, alone until 2009. She passed away um, with hepatitis B, which is in, um, in that, in her case, it was. Kind of, um, we would call it um, more liver more function. So her liver, her, her liver stopped working, and she passed away from it. So um, after my mom died, because all my brothers and sisters, the highest education that we got is in fourth grade. That is my oldest brother, um, and the rest of my brothers and sisters have to stop going to school in order to earn a living because otherwise we could not force to go to school. And then only, only me left in school, and my brother and sister working and helped to support me to go to school. And after my mom died, I had no hopes of becoming something else beside I, who I was. Um, I was hopeless. I was just lost. And then in about a year later, I know that there was an organization which is providing educations and stuff to um, kids that have no ability to go to school. So that organization called CFO. So I got to know CFO, and CFO is happens to work um, with our CDC students that they go every year on um, Christmas break. And our CDC is um, CFO is actually funded by um, Kim. Ever since it was here at the moment, and so I got to know um, RCTCs and I got to know RCTC students, especially Professor Lori. And so I got to know her more and more, and we got to share what we have. And I, I share with them what I have, and they share with me what I don't have. So we kind of learned about each other really well. And the relationship built a couple of years until one year. 
one of the students go there with um, his dad. Um, he's a pastor at the Lutheran, Spring Valley Lutheran Church. So um, he got, he was touched by my story and he wanted to help me. Um, but after he came back, he was talking with his wife and his family to figure it out a way to help me. And so um, about six months later, they figured it out um, the only way to help me to get out of um, my situation is that if I could come to the United States as a student so I can get education. And I forgot to mention that my mom has hepatitis B and because my mom died from it, so I also have it. And right now I have, I'm carrying um, hepatitis B, which is really dangerous disease and it's really common in developing countries. So um, my, my host parents, who is my godparents now, Pastor Nick and Pastor Cindy, they were concerned about how my health would be if I still in Cambodia and how my education would be. So they finally found out that um, it works for me if they bring me here as an international student. And finally I make it here and I got healthcare, I got education as this things that is happening with me now is the things that I have never been expected, I have never been dream of, and I have never been even think about it, that someday I will get education. Someday I will be speaking in front of you. And all of these things happens because of the trip. And because of the trip, I got to know such amazing people. And sometimes, um, this is my personal opinion, sometimes I think like um, when I was in Cambodia, the most important things to um, come, like, the, um, I messed up. Um, the most important things that, um, to me, of knowing American students is that I could speak English, I could speak like different language with them, and it was so awesome to me. I thought it was it was so it was it's just so amazing that I could communicate with different people in different language, and that was so that was a big deal for me. Until I come here, I when I was in Cambodia, I see the world so small. I see only people like me. I see only um, poor people and rich people are different, but once I come to the United States, I could see the world bigger than what I used to see and what I used to think of. I thought the world was only Cambodia, and that's my world, and that's the world, and that's the whole world. And when I come to the United States, I see the difference of how people live here, and how we learn here, and how we communicate here. It's so different, and that's, um, that is like the biggest difference that I see in my whole life. So all of the difference that I have been observed since I was in Cambodia and I came here because of the trip. And um, just like I said before, that God works to other people through all of you. And this is, you could make, think, you could, could make a difference that you don't even expect that you would otherwise. And um, I, I'm so thankful for Professor Lori that she made this happen to my life. And I know that all of you, each of you, each one of you could make a difference too. But you don't even realize that you are making a difference. All right. Thank you. I think that's.